In this tutorial, we will learn how to engrave or emboss a text on any surface like this. We will use this default cube. Let us first enlarge the cube by 1.5 times in the X dimension and 2.5 times in the Y dimension. Cool. We will now add some text on this object which we will then engrave. So go to the Add menu and add a text field. We need to place it above the surface, so drag it upward, like this. Let us also rotate it towards us, so that it has the correct facing. So change the Z rotation to 90 degrees. The text field is by default left aligned. To make it center aligned, go to this text tab and scroll down to the alignment section. Change the horizontal alignment to center and the vertical alignment to also center. Then, in order to add our own text, in place of this default value, go to the edit mode. Press backspace to delete everything and type whatever text you want to add. Remember that you will not be able to change it later. We will use our channel name. Then go back to the object mode. Ok, so this is our text field. Before we proceed with the next step, we need to convert it into a mesh, otherwise some of the steps will not work. So go to the object menu, then convert to, and select mesh. You can see that there is a triangle symbol beside our text object, which means it is converted into a mesh. Now, if we turn on this wireframe mode, we can see that the text, or the mesh, has very complex topology. There are lots of unnecessary vertices here, we must clean them. Otherwise it will create weird problems in the downstream part. To simplify its geometry, go to the Modifiers tab, and add a modifier called, Decimate Modifier. So, we can see that currently there are more than thousand faces. Now, switch over to the Planar tab. You can see that the face count is reduced to only 24, and that has cleaned its topology quite a bit, it looks much better and simple. Let us now go to the edit mode. No, before we go there, we have to apply this modifier, because otherwise it won't have any effect. Now go to the edit mode. Ensure that the vertex selection mode is on. Then, press A on your keyboard to select all the vertices. Now, go to mesh, then merge and select the option by distance. Open this little operator box. And change the merge distance to something like 0.01. We can then close this box. Just see, it says removed 56 vertices. There is another way to simplify it which you can also apply if needed. Go to Mesh, then Delete, and select Limited Dissolve option. Again open this operator box, and change this angle to maybe 10 degrees. Ok. So our object has got a very clean topology. Now, let us go back to the object mode. Next step. We will add some thickness to our text. So go to the Modifiers tab, and add one modifier, which is called the Solidify modifier. Change the thickness value to, 0.2. And, let us turn on the Solid View mode. Now, with the Move tool, bring down the solid text, little bit, so that the text intersects with our cube object. You can adjust the amount of this overlap, or the projection, as per your requirement. Now, if we look closely, there is a lot of flatness around this text, as we have reduced the vertices. We need to take care of that. So just go to the Object menu, and then select, Shade Smooth. We can see that the object got deformed in a different way. To fix that, go to this tab in the Properties Editor, and expand the section called Normals. Select this Auto Smooth checkbox. And similarly, select our cube, then in the object menu, select Shade Smooth, and here as well, enable Auto Smooth. Then, the next step. While the cube is selected, let us go to the Modifiers tab. First, add a Boolean modifier. We have to ensure that the Difference option is selected. Then, in the Target Object field, select the Text Object. We can see the change, if we hide the text. The Boolean modifier has already cut the cube with the text object. And as a result, we get this nice engraved form of the text on our cube. We can make it even better, by adding some bevel to it. So minimize this modifier. And add the bevel modifier. Ensure that the offset option is selected here. Change the offset amount to very low value, like 0.005. 
and increase the number of segments to 4 or 5. You may not see any change yet. The bevel is done, but it is suppressed. Just scroll down to the geometry section and uncheck this option to clamp the overlap. You can now notice a beautiful bevel added to our engraved text. This looks nice and perfect. Well, another fine tune we can do. Expand the shading section and enable this option of hardened normals. This will produce very clear output. The engraving part is done. Be very careful with the offset amount, as that can build or ruin the effect. Use a lower value as we did in this example. Let us now go up in the modifiers and expand the Boolean modifier. In place of the difference option, let us select the union. Then we get a second output, which uses the raised letters instead of the engraved form. You can call it embossed, although that may not be the correct terminology. So, we saw two different ways to stylize a text on a plain surface, one is for engraving, and another is for embossed or raised letters. I hope you like this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to engrave on a curved surface, like a cylinder. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.